Rise and grind the best new bourbons. Let's get into the list. Here at Rise and Grind, we bring you everything related to the men's lifestyle. We talk about whiskey, cigars, fragrances. We want to make sure that you know what is going on. And today, we're going to bring you the best new bourbons available. We're going to be introducing you to some craft distilleries. It's easy to talk about Buffalo Trace and Weller and these companies that have been around for ages. But as a man who is rising and grinding, you want to be at the forefront of what's going on. You want to know about the new boys in town. And so we're going to introduce to you some of the distilleries that you may have not even have heard of. And we're going to let you know what we think about them. Most of these are small craft distilleries and most of these are not even in Kentucky. Springing up all over in Tennessee, in Georgia, we've got some craft distilleries that are putting out great products. And as a guy who's rising and grinding, you want to be different. You want to be unique. You want to be up to what is going on. And so we've got a list of five of the best new whiskeys. And so the first bourbon on our list today, we have Blue Note, uncut, unfiltered. Now every bourbon comes with a story. And the story on this is that the Rick House collapsed. This is where they stored all the barrels. There was a great failure in the structure. And these barrels survived. These barrels were saved. They remained trapped in this debris for months and months on end. And these are the survivors. And so that's a great story. The juice is good. This is a $45 bottle. It is uncut. It is unfiltered. It's 123 proof. Now, this one that I have, this is from Sealback. And this is the Snickerdoodle single barrel. They believe that this tastes like a Snickers chocolate. I would say I taste a lot of the corn. This has a very high corn mash bill. There is some pleasant sweetness. It's a high proof bourbon that's easy to drink. And so this is what I would call a good value. I wouldn't compare this to a Elijah Craig barrel proof or to a Larceny barrel proof. But for $45, this is a good, high proof sipper. This is a good value. This is a good new bourbon. Blue Note. They're putting out some other things such as Crossroads, but the uncut, unfiltered, the different single barrels that they're putting out, I would suggest that you get your hands on one. Blue Note. Uncut, unfiltered. The next bourbon that we have for you comes from Penelope. This is a company that's using MGP juice. And so this company, they've got some toasted barrels. They've got some barrels that are aged in some different techniques. This is used, made using a French oak staves. And so this reminds me a lot of Maker's Mark 46. This is a good bourbon. It's a four grain bourbon. I get a lot of notes of raspberry, fig, plum. This, it goes for about $70. I think the price might be a bit high, especially when it compares to other things on the market. Again, such as the Maker's 46 cast strength that you can get at a better price. But this has a different taste to it. 
It's again made with the French oak staves. And so it's not your typical bourbon taste. It comes off a bit like wine because of the French oak. It comes off with a slightly sweeter, more fruitier taste. This is the Architect series. And this one I have, I believe this is the third one. This is the third build. The first two were maybe too sweet, too French oaky. But the third one, and I haven't tried the fourth one, but I think that Penelope is on to something here. Again, they're doing a lot of experimental aging and finishing. They've got a bourbon that's finished in a rosé barrel. And so they're doing a lot of interesting things. And the thing about craft distilleries is they tend to push the envelope. They tend to do things that the traditional distilleries have never done. And so I would suggest that you check out Penelope, especially the Architect series. The next distillery that we have on the list is 13 Colonies. They have a great bourbon, but I really like this rye. They call this a Southern rye whiskey. This is high rye. This is over 90% rye, but yet it's sweet. This has a lot of caramel in it. This is a rye. It comes in at a very affordable price. You can get this for about $40. The bourbon comes in also at a great price. This is a good product, 13 colonies. I believe they are out of Georgia, if I'm not mistaken. But this is a great product. Really enjoy this. Really enjoy the rye. Like the bourbon. Great price. Great value. This is a rye that's more sweet than spicy. 13 colonies. Southern styled rye. The next bourbon that we have is Pursuit United. Now, this bourbon here, this was made by a bourbon podcaster. This bourbon here, you can get for about $65. I'm gonna go out on the limb and say a few things. This to me compares with Bardstown Discovery Series. Discovery Series cost about $130 to $150. I've got the Discovery Series 8 and 9, and this $65 bottle compares with it. I've seen other reviewers compare this with Weller Full Proof. This is an amazing product at an amazing value. $65. This gives you a lot of toffee, a lot of dark fruit. This is a great bourbon, comes in at a good proof, 108 proof. It's an easy sipper. It says on the label here, an adventure in bold flavors. Again, I get a lot of that toffee, like the Werther's candy. This has been Blended well. I compare it to who I think is the best blender, Bartstown. And this holds its own weight. And so I'm really excited about what this company is going to be putting out. Pursuit United, a great bourbon at a great price. Pursuit United. And the last bourbon that we have here. I have saved the best for last. If you enjoy this content, please be sure to like, subscribe, help us to grow. We are here to impact men's lifestyle, to share with you great whiskeys, cigars, and all things men related. And so this last bourbon that we have, this comes out of Georgia. This is Fiddler. Georgia Heartwood. This here is made by a distillery called ASW. 
This is an amazing weeded bourbon. And so there is no rye in this. It's very sweet, but yet it does have some spice. This reminds me of a graham cracker. Enjoying this is gonna make you feel like you're sitting at a campfire enjoying uh, delicious s'mores. And so you're gonna get those graham cracker and that chocolate and the marshmallow. I love this product. I've only been able to find different single barrels. This is the Total Wine single barrel. This comes in at a good value, $80, $85. I've seen it priced at $100. This to me right now is one of my most favorite bourbons, Fiddler Georgia Heart, Heartwood. Again, this comes out of Georgia. We're seeing a lot of great products coming out of places that we wouldn't think would be making good bourbon. Tennessee, Georgia, this right here is gonna be a winner for a long time to come. This is a great weeded bourbon, and I think this is gonna really start to push out a lot of the Weller products because this is something you can go and find it comes in at a great proof, 57% ABV, Fiddler Georgia Heartwood, s'mores in a bottle. Today for our conversation, I want to talk about jealousy. Jealousy is a form of self-hate where you see the reflection of what you could have been lived by someone else. Jealousy is worse than hate. Jealousy is when you see it, what you could have been. You don't just hate the other person because they got successful. You don't hate them because they are rich. You don't hate them because they are in great shape. Jealousy is when you hate someone because you know that could have been you. You're never going to be jealous of someone who is doing worse than you. But you become jealous when you see what you could have been if you had worked harder if you had taken more risk, if you had started that business, if you had applied for the job, if you had just talked to the girl, if you had just written down your ideas, if you had gone to the gym. Jealousy is when you see it being lived by someone else. And so you're at the game in the nosebleed section and you're looking down at someone sitting courtside. You're sitting in your car and you see that Rolls Royce drive by. You're boarding the plane and you gotta walk past first class all the way to the back. You are seeing men who right now are better than you because they did the work. They made the sacrifice. They did what you could have done, but you just didn't do it. And now because you see it, you're mad at them. But the truth of the matter is, is you only have yourself to blame. You're watching them but that is, and it could have been you. And so the jealousy that you have, you think it's for them, but it's really you having self-hate because you're simply seeing your reflection in someone else's life. You have no one to blame about the way your life is going. It's not your father's fault. 
is not society's fault. You were given the chances and the opportunities. Stop being jealous about other people achieving success. But today, rise today, grind today. Go out and take the life that you know you could have had. That should be you flying first class. That should be you driving a super car. That should be you sitting courtside. That should be you in front of the camera. Stop letting other men live the life that you should be living. Stop being jealous and become who you are supposed to be. Rise and grind.